if if you are following let me know in the comment section if you are following let me know in the comment section awesome i can see someone saying just waiting awesome awesome so let's introduce ourselves where are you watching from let me know where you are watching from today today we are having a very very you know interesting conversation and also an interesting topic to look into so let me know where you're watching from in the comment section all right let me know where you're watching from in the comment section bring it on bring it on where are you watching from where are you watching from okay where are you watching from all right let me know in the comment section guys okay ah, awesome i can see ali from india i can see bohan from pakistan awesome all right all right i can see um success ab success from ocean state Oh yes, um, there are Mola Collins. Your name looks familiar. You've been on this session before. Thank you for joining again from Oshobo. All right, I can see Lens from South Africa. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for joining, guys. You can also share with your friends so that they get to join us in this conversation. So today we'll be looking at forex analysis as a second lesson, right? forex basic lessons all right uh, my name is to michelle so this conversation is strictly for educational purpose and not an investment recommendation neither an investment advice however we are looking to teach you how to you know how, 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 how the market works and also um, get to use your discretion you know in trading and profiting from the market So, an interesting thing we have for you is an opportunity for you to double your deposit by using the promo code which I will share towards the end of the session. Please don't, you don't want to miss out from this. I will share the promo code towards the end of the session. And also for this um, webinar, um, for this workshop, there is a certificate for it. A certificate of attendance, all right? And you want to be a part of this and um, there is a free e uh, PDF that will be given to you called traders guidebook you don't want to miss out of this so every participant on this session will receive that um, that ebook e the, the, the PDF via their email thank you for joining us leverage on the de on the double your deposit bonus which the promo code will be shared towards the end of the of the, of the lessons Yes. So what's my name? My name is Tumi Shola Olua. I've been trading Forex for the past seven years now, and I'm independent Forex trader and trainer. I, I, I trade with a focus on price action and provide signals basically on price actions. So the, the content today will be focused on how to analyze the Forex market, introduction to fundamental analysis, introduction to technical analysis market trends chart patterns so this would be the focus of our content today most importantly i want you to understand that this session is an interactive class and you are free to ask your question in the comment section all right another important thing i would like to draw your attention to is let us keep our questions within the confine of the, the the lessons for today we have our previous topic you can always go watch them however ask questions that are within the subject matter of today so that we don't go outside the subject matter of today because we have a lot to cover today it's important that you stay away from your phones and you focus on the class and pay attention so that you don't draw us back with oh i don't understand this and the likes like that all right so we need a large part a large part of your attention on this session 
There's an interesting question which everyone here might have known. But I would like to ask, what is Forex analysis? Okay? Forex analysis. What is Forex analysis? Alright? So, Forex analysis is used by day traders. Okay? To determine the buy and sell levels. In Forex analysis is used by retail traders to make buy and sell decisions on the currency pairs of their choice. So, for a trader now, you, you, you want to take a trade, you analyze the market, that's forex analysis, okay? You determine if you want to buy or you want to sell, that's forex analysis. So, there are different types of analysis. And that's why different traders have their different approach to the market. So we have two key types of analysis. We have the fundamental analysis and we have the technical analysis. When we talk about fundamental analysis, fundamental analysis is the analysis that has to do with macroeconomic agents and macroeconomic factors. All right? Macroeconomic agents which are individual firm and government Okay, and macroeconomic factors like inflation, interest rates, you know, um, gross domestic products, we have a lot of them like that. So, these are what the fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis also looks into industry analysis. We're talking about oil and gas, we're talking about utility, healthcare, financials, we're talking about consumer industry, we're talking about energy industry, we're talking about material industry, we're talking about real estate industry, you know, communication service industry. These are different industry analyses that can be conducted according to the industry analysis. We also have fundamental analysis of the stock market. In that case, we are paying attention to the you know, the balance sheet, which is now known as the statement of account. We are paying attention to the profit and loss, which is now, which is now known as income statement. And we are paying attention to equity and cash flow. Alright? Because that will help us to understand prior, you know, you know, uh, the, flow, the flow and movement of cash in, in the market. Okay? That would help us to understand the movement of cash in the market. I believe you are following, guys. If you are following me, let me know in the comment section. If you are following me, let me know in the comment section. Type following, 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 if you are following. Type following. I want to be sure you are following me so that we can push further. So... In technical analysis, we have different types of technical analysis. We have the indicator analysis. We have the volume analysis. We have the graphics analysis, which looks into trends and patterns. And we have the price action and candlestick patterns. So, when we talk about the indicator analysis, these are these are like indicators. They, they, they are more like, you know... Uh, a, a, a programmed a, a, a programmed tool that is used to track when the market is overbought or oversold so it is this indicator that tells you if the market is at its peak and about to sell off or if it's at its you know base okay and about to pick up so these indicators now are used they call indicator analysis all right we have volume analysis where you are tracking volume how much is moving in the market what is the buy and sell ratio like okay what is the volume being traded because the more the volume is showing that what well, there is more liquidity in the market all right now when you look at the graph analysis the graph analysis pays attention to the chart patterns pays attention to the trend patterns and you can equally you know, look into that because when we look at the, the, the chart analysis now, we are talking about the head and shoulder, we are talking about the, the, the double top, double bottom, you know, uh, bullish wedge, we are talking about ascending um, triangle, we are talking about descending triangle. 
you know, asymmetric triangle, synthetic triangle, and the likes like that. All right. So we also have the graphics analysis, the price action analysis that pays attention to candlesticks. All right, candlesticks support and resistance level. When we say okay, oh, there is a bullish armor here, the market will go higher. There is a there's a morning star, you know. Um, there is um, a bearish a bearish uh, pin bar, you know. These things helps to foster our decisions. All right. And that's it. So these are the types of analysis, the two key types of analysis, and the various types of analysis that we have under this analysis. So it's either of these that you can now pick from and leverage on. All right. So when you want to look into the fundamental analysis, for those who are interested in the fundamental analysis, the fundamental analysis, like I said earlier. You know, it's a way of what of analyzing the market using economic, social, and political factors that may affect the currency. So that is why most times when there is presidential election in the US, depending on the on the on the um, on the party involved, because the the key the two major parties in the US have two different economic ideology. So the, 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 every analyst and trader are paying attention to position for the different ideologies that my ideological uh, uh, parties that might, that, that might win the election. And that is why analysts now make decision based on the outcome of an election, based on the party that wins and based on their economics perspective. You would definitely know that, okay, if so so and so president wins, is the first thing he's going to do is going to enhance capitalism. Or he's going to, his policies are, are going to increase the flow, the, the, the circulation of money, you know, in the market. You see? So, these are the things. So, this will now form the decisions of you as a trader. Alright? So, where can you get this news? Where can you get this information? You can get the fundamental and um, you know news from Okta FX News. So when you go to the Okta FX you know website, you go to our uh, market section and you see news. You click on news. We we'll give you the key news that, that is coming out for each day and for each month. Also, investing.com. Investing.com is a place you can go. And get the latest information about any um, news or fundamental analysis that might impact the market. Same as Bloomberg.com, same as DailyFX.com, same as FXStreet.com, same as ForexFactory.com. These sites would help you to keep track of what of the market. All right. How many of you have used? The for the Octa FX market news before you've used the star section of our news. Let me know in the comment section. I have used it, I've not used it. Let me know in the comment section. If you have used it, let me know in the comment section. If you've not used it, let me know in the comment section. Have you used the Octa FX market news before? Let me know in the comment section. So while, while I'm, I'm looking forward to your comment, we have eight major central banks in the world that we pay attention to. Eight major central banks. Number one is the Australia Reserve Bank. Reserve Bank. That's the, the, the Bank of Australia. Number two is the Bank of Canada. All right. Number three is the European Union, the European Central Bank. Number four is the Bank of Japan. Number five is the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Number six is the Swiss National Bank. Number seven is the Bank of England. Number eight is the Federal Reserve System, the Fed. So these are the key banks, the key central banks that we look at 
in order to make informed decisions. Okay? Okay, very good. I'm glad that I'm, I'm seeing people who have, who have um, equally used um, Okta FX, um, you know, news platform before. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay? So, how to use fundamental analysis to trade? How do you use fundamental analysis to trade? This is very important. Now, how do you trade the news? That's basically the question. I know a lot of persons are skeptical about trading the news. and A lot of persons love trading the news. But they keep losing out. Alright? When I mean they keep losing out, I mean they, they, they tend not to... Uh, they tend not to they, they tend to always be on the losing side maybe because they don't understand number one look out for the events of the week and of the day so most importantly what I do is in the beginning of every week alright say Sunday I look out for the news, the major news that comes out, that will come out that week. Alright? I look out for major news that will come out that week. And I write them down. Okay? You can always do the same. Look out for events that would come out that week. And take note of them. Number two. Focus. Your focus should be on high impact news. Because not all news are actually relevant. Okay? Not all news are actually relevant. Not all news are actually relevant. So you focus on high impact news. Alright? Number two. Number three. Confirm the release time. And understand the meaning of the event and the possible outcomes. Okay? Confirm the, the release time and understand the meaning of the event and the possible outcome. This is very, very important. It's very, very important that you understand the event and also you understand the, the, the meaning of the, of the previous and the forecast outcome. So, if you look out for this information, you will see what they, where they put previous outcome. Okay? Forecast out. Alright? Now, the, 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 the next one is wait for news release. Wait for news release. Alright? Let the news be released. Number the last one, combine technical analysis and strategies for trading. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to do um, a bit of practical for us here. So, we would, we would um, open Forex Factory. Forex factory calendar. Alright. So you can see. You can see the event. So look at what I look at what I did. I've already filtered my own. Okay. So showing me the um, the event for the for the week. Alright. Okay, success media said he wants to tell, he wants to, okay, they, um, the team will get to you. The team will get back to you. All right. Now, look at what I did here. So, if you go to Forex Factory, you go to the calendar, you come to filter. Look at this. Look at where my, my button is. Filter. This thing that looks like a funnel. All right. Filter. You click on the filter. Now, you see this 
says expected impact. Expected impact, which means the, Im the expected impact that you want. So I will explain this um, silver, this ash color is saying that this news would have no impact. All right, would have no impact on the on the market. This news with blue tick. Let me let me let me apply it here. So you see, these are the news now. So if you open it, this is what it will show you. The news with silver color would have no impact on the market. The news with the the um, yellow color would have no impact expected. Look at that of um, that of the silver. Non-economic. It is a non-economic news, so it won't affect the market. The the yellow one is a low impact news, so it will not also affect the market. The orange one is a medium impact news, so it would affect the market, but does not have a very strong impact on price movement. All right. Now let's go to the red one. The red one is what we call the high impact news. Now the high impact news. We tell you the news with high impact. So what do you want to do here? Because every other thing looks like noise to me. What do I do? I go to filter. I take off all other information. And I leave only the high impact news. Alright? I come to currency. Which currency? Which news? do I? Which currency do I want to be seeing their news? If you want to see Australian dollar, you click on Australian dollar. If you want to see the Canadian dollar, you click on the Canadian dollar. If you want to see the um, Swiss franc, you click on Swiss franc. You know, if you want to see the pounds, you click on the pounds. But for me, I want to see only Euro USD and JPY. All right, Euro USD, Euro USD and JPY that are, um, news that I want to see. So I click on apply, and once it's applied. It brings out the news for the week. All right, and I can always position myself either set my alarm, you know, or the lights like that. So let's go back to our. Uh, so this is this is this is what you would expect on this news. So let, let's look at this news happened on Tuesday, right, on the thirtieth by three p.m. Let's see the impact of this news on the market as at 3 p.m okay let's let's look at euro usd 3 p.m on tuesday tuesday was 30 tuesday was 30 let's look at 3 p.m on tuesday uh, 3 p.m 3 p.m 3 p.m. Yes. Good. Look at it. So look at the news. 3 p.m. on Tuesday. The candlestick on which this line is, is lying on. That's that's where the that's where the uh sits. Can you see it? I'm coming. Let me bring it. Let me. Let me bring it out. Good. So, can you see now? Can you see this? The the news came by 3 p.m. Which news was that? The news on on consumers confidence so i want to see the details of the news look at the details of the news that came out all right consumers confidence this was the forecasted it was forecasted that the 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 uh, what is it called the outcome would be reviewed at 99.1 why the previous one was 
103.7 okay 103.7 but because it came out positive it came out higher than the forecast is positive okay which means that consumers confidence is high consumers are more confident in the market that's what it means he said why look at this information say why should traders care financial confidence is the leading indicator of con consumer spending which accounts for the majority of the overall econ economic activity so if this is green and positive because it is greater than the forecast so it is positive so what do you expect the usd will gain strength all right the dollar will gain strength so what did you think happened here on the euro usd chart the dollar gained strength and what happened the market went down and that was it the dollar gained strength as at that time okay this is how the the what is it called the 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 fundamental analysis impacts price movement okay good let's proceed if you are following let me know in the comment section if you are understanding what I've, I'm, I'm talking about let me know in the comment section okay let me know in the comment section let me know in the comment section if you are understanding me let me know in the comment section introduction to technical analysis you know we've done we've looked at the uh, fundamental analysis introduction to technical analysis so technical analysis looks into the historical price movement all right what price have done in the past all right what have price done in the past okay that is what technical analysis looks into it looks into the past history of price so and then uses that information to predict the future okay to predict the future so fundamental analysis involves the use of trends support and resistance indicators chart patterns candlesticks all right candlesticks so these are what technical analysis involved with support and resistance trends chart patterns candlesticks and also indicator now there is this theory we call the dow theory okay the dow theory is common ancestors to the most principles to the most principles of modern technical analysis and it determines the probability you know it, it, it's more like the, the the most principles of modern technical analysis and the general line of trend analysis so there are six tenets of these principles all right there are six tenets of these theories rather all right number one of these theories is the market discount everything the market discount everything i would explain when we go to our practical level the market discount everything number two there are three types of market trends there are three types of market trends number three is primary trends are split into three phases into three phases all right number four indexes must confirm each other indexes must confirm each other number five it is volume should confirm the price volume should confirm the price the last one is trend persists until there is a clear reversal so what this is simply saying is, is some practical insights so market discount itself every time meaning that what the market does not just keep going you know like a plane all right or 
does just not doesn't just keep coming down just like that no okay so if market goes up it gets to a point it comes down it discount itself so which means if it has gone hundred percent up it comes down like 20 to 50 percent down goes up again hundred percent from that level comes down a bit maybe 20 to 25 percent you know so those little little drawbacks all right is called market discounting itself so and then we would let, let, let me just let me just um let me explain something real quick with um what that means by market discounting itself okay sorry okay good so look at this clearly now markets went up okay it did not keep going up for life it came down it has discounted itself from here it went up a bit again it came down it has discounted itself from here that's what it means so market discounts every time so some other principles we say market moves in a wave like function wave wave so it does it, there is not just a consistent movement towards one direction it moves in a wave-like function it moves up and down and that wave-like function can be ascending you know ascending wave-like function or descending wave-like function and wave-like pattern all right so that is what the the the, the doubt story is saying that what market discounts itself all right Good. I can see um, Annie said following. Um, Mana said yes. Okay. I'm glad you guys are following. I'm glad you guys are following. Okay. Now, there are three types of market trends. Okay. Three types of market trends. We have the uptrend, the sideways trend, and the downtrend. The uptrend, the sideways trend, and the downtrend all right the uptrend if you look at it here now when the market is moving up so the market comes here moves from here to this place all right we call this IRI all right when it moves from this eye and creates another eye we refer it to as IRI okay when it moves from this low and goes up to create another low, we call it what? Higher low. Why? Because though this one is low, but it is higher than the previous low. And when the market goes up again to create an higher high and draws back a bit, discounts itself a bit to create a lower low, we call it, we call it higher low. Because this low is higher than the previous low. All right? good then when market goes up and forms and starts consolidating moving in sideways we call it the sideways trend it's also called consolidation okay that's what we call consolidation market is consolidating now when we talk about the downtrend market moving from this eye down here Okay, market moves down here, come up again. So because though this is a I, but this I is lower than the previous I. So we call it lower I. Because market has come and create another I here, but this I is actually lower than the previous I. So we call it what? Lower I. When the market goes down again and creates another I, okay, we call it what well, we still call it what well, lower I. Because this eye now is lower than the previous eye. Okay? An indication that market is going down. So this is how, this is the types of what? Of market trend that we have. Uptrend, downtrend, and sideways trend. So in the market, in trends, there are three phases of trends. Okay? 
Thank you very much, Daramola. I said great impactation. Thank you very much. So there are three phases of trends. The first phase, one of the there are three types of phase. We have the accumulation phase, we have the absorb absorption phase, and we have the distribution phase. So when you look at this phase now, you know this absorption phase is appears in form of a sideways movement. All right, a consolidation. So more like market is accumulating energy to pump. Okay, and you see what market does. So when market is going higher toward the direction, it's called what the absorption phase. Okay, and then when market starts moving sideways after the absorption phase, it's called the distribution phase. That means it's trying to distribute. It's, it, it, it's, it's trying to distribute its direction towards another another uh, direction. Okay, and that's why we see that after the distribution phase, market goes down. After the accumulation phase, market goes up to the absorption phase. After the absorption phase, market goes into the distribution phase. From the distribution phase, goes down back to the accumulation phase. Okay, and that is how the market operates for, for the phase of trends. Now, let's look at this. When we talk about trend lines, so these trend lines are used in in mapping out edges along you know the candlestick in order to see the levels where candlestick lies all right in order to see the levels where candlestick lies all right so we have a buy here we have another buy here, we have another buy here, we have another buy here, and we have another buy here. Okay? That is the what the trend, the trend line. Same here, when we look at it, this is uptrend, this is downtrend, this is sideways trend, this is another uptrend, this is another downtrend. So that still revolves around us knowing that there are three types of trend uptrend, sideways trend, and downward trend. So you can always map it out when analyzing your market. Say, okay, the, the market is going up. This is an uptrend. Oh, this is a downtrend. Oh, this is a sideways trend. You know what you are doing. So let's talk about chart patterns. All right. Now, chart pattern is a graphical representation of price movement by using series of trend line or curves so with chart patterns now you are able to understand you know what the market would most likely do you are going you are able to predict the higher probability of market movement so we have continuation chart pattern and we have reversal chart pattern when we see continuation chart pattern continuation chart pattern stems from triangle patterns all right flag patterns we're going to look at look at them practically uh pen pennant uh, 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 patterns then when we look at the reversal chart pattern these are the ones that moves in opposition to the continuation chart pattern because the continuation chart pattern is talking about the market continuing in the direction at which it has picked up from the reversal chart pattern is talking about the pattern that moves the market in the opposite direction at which it has been it has been moving coming from. All right. So that is what we're going to be looking at. For the reversal chart pattern, we have head and shoulder. We have you know double bottom. We have double top. We have inverse head and shoulder. We have you know triple bottom and the likes like that. We're going to look at them. Okay. Now. Types of continuation chart pattern. We have the bullish flag. So in the bullish flag, the market is, is already moving up in a bullish direction. But at some point, we now consolidate as though it is going to drop, as though it is reversing. All right. But this pattern, a good number of time has shown that what it is a what is a bullish flag pattern is a continuation pattern that market would continue going higher okay 
And here, likewise, the bearish flag pattern showing that what market has been falling and it now looks like market is consolidating to the upside but it is actually you know a bullish flag pattern that would continue in the bearish a bearish flag pattern that will continue in the direction at which it has started from which is the the bearish movement all right so when you when you see a bullish flag like this in the markets definitely you are knowing that this is a continuation pattern market would still continue to go higher all right if you are following me and you are understanding what i'm sharing you have a, a good understanding of what, what i'm saying let me know in the comment section if you have any question with regards to what we've talked about kindly drop it in the comment section Now, when we look at the pennant, the pennant is a continuation chart pattern that is, that, that is formed after a strong movement. Okay? And why the price is still consolidating? Buyers and sellers are still making decisions to jump into the strong movement of the market, forcing the price to bust out from the pennant formation. So, you will discover that when you see, when you spot a pennant, um, uh, you know chart pattern buyers and sellers are already making decision on how to bust that pattern so look at it this is what we call a pennant chart pattern a bullish pennant you know chart pattern okay so buyers and sellers are positioning to bust out of this pattern when they bust out of the pattern market goes up if you look at this place too, when it busts downward, market goes down. Alright? That is downtrend pattern. This is very, very important. Awesome. So this is what we call the what? The bearish pennant and the bullish pennant chart pattern. So there is no specific time frame where the pennant chart pattern shows up. You can spot it on the on the monthly time frame, you can spot it on the weekly time frame, you can spot it on any of the time frames. All right? So, reversal chart patterns now are those patterns that you know goes that shows the market wants to go in the opposite direction you know at which they've been coming before. So, number one of these is the double top. When you see the double top, the, the candlestick forms a double top like this. Okay? The candlestick forms a double top like this. It's an indication that the market would be going downward. When you see a double top, there is a higher probability that the market would continue to fall. Okay? That is it. Now here's an example. Look at something like this. It's for a double top here. And when you sit at this place, just know that it will break out of this place of the of the of the neck. This is the neckline. This is the neckline of a double top. When it breaks out of this place, you can decide to sell from here or wait for a retest. When you retest you sell, you see the market going down. All right, so there's a higher chances that there would be a continuous fall in price when a double top appears. Same applies with double bottom because it's just like the opposite of double top. This is the neckline and this is the double bottom head. All right, so when the price breaks out through this neckline, it's definitely have a high probability of going in the upward direction all right so it is a bullish reversal chart pattern the double bottom is a bearish reversal chart pattern okay someone said i'm following okay um success said understanding great great so that is it the neck is identified once it breaks out of the neck there would be a high probability of um, upward movement in price. 
So, head and shoulder pattern. The head and shoulder pattern is a bearish reversal chart pattern that, that is described by three peaks. So, when you see the head and shoulder now, the head and shoulder is, like the name implies, a head and a shoulder. So, you see this now. The head is always higher than the shoulder. So, when you see the one that is equal to the to the shoulder it is not it the the head is always outside the shoulder it's above the shoulder okay the head is above the shoulder it's above the shoulder all right now when a head and shoulder pattern formation is seen in an uptrend it seek it signifies a major reversal pattern it signifies a major reversal pattern. Yeah. I believe you are following. So here is an example of it. Okay. Here is a market. Market came here, created a left shoulder, went up, came back, came here again. So you can see the left shoulder and the right shoulder are almost always equal all right they are almost always equal all right but the head is never equal maybe the head is equal it is not a head and shoulder it is something else all right but this is the head and the shoulder then this is the neck okay this is the neck Now, inverse head and shoulder pattern. The inverse head and shoulder pattern is the opposite of the head and shoulder pattern. Just that in the case of head and shoulder, the market will keep going down. But in the case of inverse head and shoulder, the market will keep going up. So practically now you see it here. When you see the head and the inverse head and shoulder, market keeps going up. Okay, thank you very much, Udo. Following perfectly. Okay, the market keeps going up after this head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder has applied, has been spotted. Now, how to trade a chart pattern? So, spotting a chart pattern is not enough except you know how to trade them. So, there are three steps of trading a chart pattern which we are going to talk about here. Number one is the time frame. One of those time frames that you can you will see significant chart patterns. I mean, chart patterns can show up on any of the time frames. Okay? But, the ones that will command so much value, alright, and command so much significance would be the the four hours daily weekly and monthly time frame so for swing traders you pay attention to those time frames the four hours the daily the weekly and the monthly okay and for day traders you can look um, um day traders and um, you know um do they call it uh, you know snipers you can you can you can look into the 5 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute and 1 hour time frame. Number 2, aside from time frame, you also pay attention to trends. Identifying the main trend of the market is very very important. All right? So you need to know okay, what, what where is the market facing generally? Okay? Then number 4, it is you have to confirm entries before taking trades. The scalpers. Thank you. <laughs> I also call them the snipers because they love to s s come in and move out, you know. So, confirm entries before taking the trade. You have to look into your time frame, look into the trend of the market, spot the chart pattern you want to, you are looking out for, you spot, you know, and then you confirm the entries before taking your trade. So, let's look at drawing chart patterns
Let's look at drawing chart patterns. So here is one. So let's say we've drawn this. So this is a trend. This trend is showing that the market is in a downtrend. That's what this trend is showing. That the market is in a downtrend. All right? Good. So if you come here now, the weekly time frame, let's say we come to um, the daily time frame, you look at this, okay, you look at this, this is what chart pattern do we spot here? Let's look at um, Do you see that? So here is the neck. This is what? Who can tell me what chart pattern is this? Drop it in the comment section. Who can tell me what chart pattern is this? Who can tell me what chart pattern is this? Use the comment section. Let me use the comment section. Double top. Perfect. Perfect. Samuel. You know, case. Double top. Perfect. That is it. That shows that you are 
following you are following awesome awesome let's get back to the show you guys are following perfect love that so let's look at indicators you know indicators are one of the most used tools to forecast price changes in forex markets all right people heavily rely on indicators and in the technical indicators can also help you know can help in identifying possible entries and possible exits we have several of them today we'll be looking at moving average all right moving average is a way to you know to smooth out price fluctuation you know to help you distinguish between the typical market noise and the actual trend direction that is what the the, the, the moving average is all about so if you see this moving average now this is 200 period you know moving average all right so you see it crossing below the the price level all right so when when a moving average is above the trend it shows that the market is in a bear market all right when a moving average goes under the candle it shows that the market is both is entering a bullish you know direction all right so a, a further study into moving average and practically you know test back testing your strategy using moving average would help you to be more better in using moving average there are different type of moving average there is simple moving average and there is exponential moving average so when we talk about the simple moving average it is calculated by adding up the last x period you know the last x period's closing price and dividing it by the number x so imagine if we say um if, if we say okay if, if if you intend to plot a five period uh moving average right the closing price for the last five hours then divided by five so what is the closing price for the last five hours is the closing price for the last five hours is assumed to be say um 10. we divide it by five the the, the moving average would be uh would be would be two okay so that is how moving average is being calculated however you don't have to worry about the mathematical calculation it's already programmed into the indicator all right so that is just to tell you how moving average works so instead of just looking at the current price of the market the moving average gives you a broader view of you know you know of what the market is doing and what would it would most likely do the exponential moving average gives more weight to the most recent period it puts more emphasis on what traders are doing recently so that is the exponential moving average and there are varying differences between the exponential moving average and the simple moving average you can always look into them for more insight into the, the the varying differences however the one of the one of the key differences that the, for the simple moving average it is slow okay it is slower compared to the um exponential moving average all right that catches up with trend early so the exponential moving average you know catches up with trend early and can result in higher profitability so which means now the the exponential moving average gives you a faster feedback on, into what market is doing and market what market would most likely do but a simple moving average would not give you the feedback as fast as what the exponential moving average will give you now let's talk about the relative strength index the relative strength index is, is a popular indicator that is that was developed by a technical analyst called John. All right. So this this indicator helps traders evaluate the strength of the current market. Okay. The indicator helps traders to evaluate what the strength of the current market. It helps them to identify 
the overbought and the oversold region. So when, when market is above 70, you definitely know that, okay, the market is now at an overbought region. When the market is at 30, you know that, oh, the market is at an oversold region. All right? And that is how the um, relative strength moving average works. So this is an example of what, what we have. So when we say relative strength in the index now, it's an index that shows an overbought and oversold region. So when the line is above 70, it's already overbought, meaning the market might turn around at any time. When the line is below 30, then that means the market is oversold. The market can reverse up at any time. That is this, what the relative index, relative strength index shows. All right. So let's have a quick look at you know, test running what the moving average can do. Moving average. Okay. Yes. Let's do 200 period moving average. This is a simple moving average, 200. Let me add exponential moving average, 200. And let's, let's, let's also spot the difference. Exponential moving average, 200. Now, can you see the difference? Okay. Can you see the difference here? This is... Um, exponential okay simple moving average let me okay okay so the one above i was trying to see if i can change the, so the one above is the simple moving average the one below is the exponential moving average okay it's it's more faster all right than the simple moving average if you look at this place now it is the exponential moving average that came down faster that pointed the market was going down faster than the simple moving average it doesn't make the simple moving average irrelevant however it can complement you know your analysis let's in let's see if we can insert rsi relative strength index and we'll play around it relative strength index okay this is it. relative strength index so this is relative strength today you can see it is now it's moving in the middle relative strength index this the strength is strong so let's go to one hour time frame so this is relative strength index of euro usd so if it goes above if it goes above 70 that's overbought from 70 and above is overbought from 8 from 30 and below is oversold region okay good here comes the opportunity we want to share with you this is the the discount um the the, the promo code that will make you and give you access to double your deposit use my promo code to double your deposit until 15th of june before the promo, promo code expires it can only be used once so use it to double your deposit if you are doubling if you are depositing ten thousand twenty thousand two thousand dollars you can definitely use my deposit my my promo code to get twice of your deposit don't sleep on these guys don't sleep on this it is to me w s t u n m i s e w s So, any questions? Let me ask you a question. Mention two 
types of chart pattern of continuation chart pattern mention two types of continuation chart pattern Mention two type of continuation chart pattern. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Mention two types of continuation chart pattern. Okay. Okay, bullish flag. Who else again? Who else again? If you have any question, just ask in the comment section. I have few minutes to answer your question. If you have any question, ask in the comment section. Ask now. Ask now. Ask now. If you have any question, ask. Yes. Thank you very much, Samuel. Bearish and bullish flag pattern. These are continuation chart patterns. Any question? Any question? Any question? Ask in the comment section. Any question, do or to ask in the comment section before you push further. All right. So while we are while we have come to the end of today's webinar um, workshop, our next um, workshop would be on live trading and summary steps of trading the market key levels risk management tips entry and exit patterns and we look into questions and answers as well so next week invite your friends invite all the persons who are interested in forex this is an opportunity for you to learn an opportunity for you to learn coming from um octa fx to you for free you cannot get this anywhere without paying all right so this is an opportunity for you to learn next week we are looking at steps of trading the market key levels risk management tips entry and exit points and then we have questions and answers thank you very much for joining i look forward to seeing you in our next session thank you guys catch you later